Hey everybody, it's Christmas Eve. I thought I'd take you for a bit of a, a ride and a bit of a day trip, uh, which will include today, tomorrow, and maybe even Boxing Day, which here in Australia is the day after Christmas Day. And most of, I think England also has Boxing Day, but not the US or Canada. But anyway, let's put three days into one vlog and see what happens. I've got to go and do a whole heap of shopping today, and the noise you can hear is my car. Uh, I've got to do a heap of shopping and um, get all the meat for the roasts and all the vegetables so let's go well it's now the afternoon I've been I've got all the meat uh, this morning and I've got all the veggies for the, uh, the roast dinner we're only having potatoes and a bit of pumpkin uh, maybe and um, it's crazy how we have a hot meal on Christmas Day. Not not everybody does that, but um, we've been doing the traditional type thing, so that's going to be happening. But check out this weather. It's nearly 35 degrees out here. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Christmas Eve, and it's 35. <laughs> so, Christmas, summer, Christmas, in, Australia's Christmas in summer. And uh, anyway, I'm setting up some lights for tonight, which um, I hope I'll get the camera out later and show you just how it all comes up. But you can see this tree here, that, looking at straight into the sun. Sorry about that. But I've got a light set up, a spotlight set up down here. You can hear the kookaburras. That's not me laughing, that's them. I've got a light set up down there, a spotlight, and I light up that tree. It looks pretty impressive at night time. And then we've got lights on the house too, which are permanently there, not just for Christmas. Um, but I only turn this one on when people come around. So we've got Jenny's family coming around tonight. So have all the lights going, get the water feature going. Ah, we're really burning up the electricity tonight. But anyway, it's all for a good cause. So anyway, I'm going to set up this light and then do a couple more things as I clean up in preparation for everybody to come. All right, get this happening. Well, everybody, it's been a super hot, warm day, and I don't know how the light is going because it's, it's right on dusk at the moment, Christmas Eve. And I'm actually just watering the garden and um, just give these plants a bit of a quick once over, but mainly the veggies. Got to have a bit of a good dose. I've got the light on out the back there. Have no idea how well it's going to be looking, but got the moon out tonight. It's almost a full moon. We're going to have a full moon on Christmas Day. That's going to be interesting. For all sorts of reasons, which you may be aware of or not. But anyway, there's the, there's the almost full moon up there. And looking back at the house, got the lights going. So everything's happening. And, uh, it's a lovely evening. Warm, it's not hot anymore. But it's nice and warm. I'm giving the plants a bit of a drink. Just like I have been doing inside. Hey, sounds very good. Okay, I'll leave it at that for Christmas Eve. And we'll see what happens tomorrow on Christmas Day. Wow, that's... I wonder. Check out that moon, isn't it? Great. Tomorrow is supposed to be a very hot day. Ah, over 35 degrees on Christmas Day. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's 7 o'clock on Christmas Day. Yay! And uh, it's already 25 degrees. And it's forecast to get to 35 today. So we're going to have a hot day and we're having roast dinner. And it's all, I've just got to get it cooking very soon and uh, get a few other things happening in preparation and then we can sit back and relax <laughs> I don't think um, anyway should be a good day it's obviously going to be very sunny and quite warm there's a 
no wind at the moment. It'll probably pick up, I think, today, because tomorrow's uh, forecast to be a little bit cooler. So, but so far, it's looking like it's going to be a good day. Got to wait for everybody to arrive. Hey. Hi, everyone. Well, it's the end of Christmas Day. It's now 7 o'clock in the evening. You can see we've still got quite a bit of daylight to go. I think 9.30 is um, uh, the end of daylight. And um, so, but anyway, the day's been quite busy, but we've had a good day. And Jenny's family's been here today, so that's been good. One of her daughters couldn't come because she's actually a firefighter. She jumps out of helicopters into remote areas called a repel group. I'm not sure what that stands for, but R-E-P-E-L uh, or something like that. Might be R E double P. I'm not sure. Anyway, we, it's pronounced repel. So she's in a repel group in a remote wilderness area fighting a fire right through Christmas. A bushfire out of control. Um, so the only way in is via helicopter. So they're lowered down and they fight the fire from the ground along with um, aerial bombing from aircraft and helicopters. So she's had a very busy Christmas doing that kind of stuff, but the rest of Jenny's family's been here uh, and we've had a great day. It's been quite warm. It's still quite warm now, but tomorrow is supposed to change quite completely, uh, what we call Boxing Day. And my family's coming here tomorrow for Boxing Day, so that will be good as well. It's going to be another busy day, but there's going to be a lot more people here tomorrow. I've got a much bigger family than Jenny's. So it's going to be all those grandchildren will be all here, all in, all at once, which will be great. Having them all together, which is a bit of an unusual event these days. So they're all really looking forward to that, as well as my mum and Peter, my stepfather. They're coming uh, in the morning to spend the day. And then later on in the day, once we've done all of that, which will be lunchtime with everybody together, then we go out to Jenny's brother's family for the evening. Uh, he's the guy with the vineyard that I did that recent video of. So we go out to uh, Limestone Track Vineyard in the evening and for that night, stay the night out. It's quite a distance away, quite three hours drive roughly. So tomorrow's going to be a really busy day. Christmas Day hasn't been too bad for us today other than all the food preparation, etc. So, but anyway. It's a busy time of year, we expect all this sort of thing to be happening, so that's what has been happening. So there you go, so Jenny and I have got a nice pleasant evening to ourselves, all to ourselves. And we might watch a bit of TV, we'll see. Oh boy, Christmas evening, Christmas night, has never been like this. I do not remember a Christmas night ever just with the two of us. Never been like this, so this is the first time off event. Now uh, there you go. Anyway, we'll talk to you again tomorrow and see what progresses with everybody from my family being here. We'll talk to you then. See you guys. Oh, hi guys. It's what we call Boxing Day, so the day after Christmas Day, and I've got my family coming today, and we're all set up. Look at this. Got seating here for 21, um, so it's going to be a pretty big day. And, uh, of course, the weather has completely changed. Yesterday, 35 degrees. Today it's raining and will probably be about 15. So <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen around here. And um, because of where we're located on the continent, we get a change in the wind and the weather just completely changes. So there you go. We're all ready to go, waiting for people to start arriving. I'll try and get a photo, maybe in a bit of even a bit of video of everybody. When we're all here, there'll be four generations here today, so my mum's arriving by taxi any minute and I've just grabbed the camera to try and um, get a bit of uh, the pre-dinner, pre-lunch time. Uh, what it looks like pre-lunch time before they all get here because we've been going flat out for a few hours now. The roast is in the oven. There's a whole heap of stuff left over from yesterday and waiting for that taxi to arrive but look it's going to be a great day it's going to have it's going to be really good having everybody together this has not happened for a couple of years now having my whole family together and uh, of course i should have this on shouldn't i yay <laughs> okay 
Well, we'll see what happens. I'll try and get a bit of video as the day goes on. We'll see what happens. Not promising. Of course, the end of today will be up the country, three hours away. Got to clean this up and get up to the vineyard. Wow, what a day. I'm sorry. You made it from the oven. You made it from the oven. Or did you make it in the oven? You made it from the oven. It's River on the TV and River on the couch. Yep. Wow. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Well, we are now driving. I've dropped off Mum and my stepfather Peter. We had a huge day at home. I can show you a couple of photographs of what happened. Now we're way out here. Looks like in the middle of nowhere. And it's raining. You see how brown the countryside is. So um, this side of Melbourne is very dry, fires get into here, really big grass fires but they take off. Now we've got about an hour's drive ahead of us uh, to get to the limestone, limestone track vineyard. So you can see it's, not, it's 6 o'clock in the evening, we've got about an hour's drive ahead of us roughly. So, and I'm having a bit of a drake, uh, I'm having a bit of a, whatever it's called, I'm not driving. Oh boy, yeah, it's been a big day. Oh, oh and it's a bouncy road. Well, there you have it guys, that was Christmas 2015, it's all done, it's all dusted, and it's over. And uh, we're now looking forward to the new year and wondering what might be happening there and I'm already starting to edit videos in preparation I've got one more video coming up on the main channel which will be a bit of a, a review of the whole year of um, food reviews etc and I've done a video for the kids channel where they say Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to everybody and that's what I'm doing now saying see you later guys um, I'll do another vlog around New Year so I hope you've enjoyed this last couple of minutes of everything that we did over Christmas and uh, we had a great time I was incredibly tired though at the end of it yesterday was I had about 12 hours sleep overnight uh, maybe 10 hours and then three hours sleep in the afternoon I was so tired it was an exhausting three days Christmas Eve Christmas Day Boxing Day recovery day was yesterday wow boy has it been big anyway a lot of traveling a lot of preparation, a lot of eating, a lot of drinking. <laughs> Too much. Oh boy. Time for a, a bit of a recovery. Oh, for this Jeffrey boy. Okay, guys, look forward to seeing you on the new year. And we'll see what happens there. Okay, see ya soon.